Another thing I can show you here, there's little proportional measurements. A little proportional work. Let's say I want to make a square point here, and let's say a 52 degree angle on there. Oh, let's take my, my pencil. This would be a good dimension here, yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm just going to mark out five segments of my pencil on this board. Two. Three. Four. Alright, look at that. Come on, man. I marked that. How about that? Look, there's an extra one there. Okay, I'm just going to lay out a three, four, five here for you. Starting point. Going out three segments. One, two, three. A vertical. I'm going to take four segments. One, two, three, four. A little arc there. Now, five segments. From this, I'm going to intersect that line. Now this gives me a 90 degree angle. This is typical 3, 4, 5. I'll show you how I do it. If you don't know. Three segments, four segments, five seconds segments. This angle here, 90 degrees. This angle over here, 52 degrees, which is really close to the outside angle of the pyramid. Which I, in fact, I think it was the angle of the pyramid. Now, move the camera a little bit here. Now I'm going to just draw, since we established 90 degree angle. I'm going to go a two segments and four segments. One, two, three, four. Now this angle, believe it or not, is the angle of the interior ramps of the pyramid. 26 degrees. That's just a one-two angle. One unit to rise, two units to run. I use two and four, but it's the same, same thing. Proportional measurements. Well, I got the inside ramp angles and the outside angle. No tape measure.